During the harsh Atlantic winters of World War II, when Allied sailors were cast adrift after their ships were torpedoed, survival really came down to what they carried in their lifeboats. These men had no wood to burn, no open flame to cook with, and no shelter from those freezing winds. Yet somehow they managed to heat food and melt ice into drinkable water, without a visible flame. The secret was a small, unassuming metal canister known as the lifeboat stove. It looked harmless, almost too simple, but it hid one of the most ingenious survival technologies ever made. A stove that burned without flame, without smoke, and without giving away a ship's position. Today, this forgotten invention offers lessons that go beyond history. Lessons every survivalist, camper, and preparedness enthusiast really should know. The lifeboat stove was born out of desperation, not luxury. When World War II erupted, naval engineers faced a chilling reality. Lifeboats were being launched into freezing waters where sailors often survived only days before succumbing to exposure. They needed a heat source that was safe in confined spaces, would not consume precious oxygen, and wouldn't betray their position to enemy submarines. The result was a masterpiece of chemistry and design, an almost cold fire. This stove relied on solidified alcohol, a compound formed by mixing ethanol with a small amount of calcium acetate. The mixture turned the liquid fuel into a jelly-like mass that burned cleanly and steadily. When lit, it produced no visible flame, only a blue shimmer that could barely be seen even in total darkness. It radiated heat silently, consuming no smoke-producing material. The lifeboat stove was compact, easy to light with a spark, and lasted for hours enough to heat canned rations or melt seawater ice for drinking. The brilliance of this invention lies in its chemistry. When the alcohol gel is ignited, the ethanol vaporizes and oxidizes, but because of the low oxygen concentration and the stabilizing effect of calcium acetate, it burns without producing visible combustion. This process emits heat through radiant and convective transfer rather than visible light. The result? A near-invisible heat source that worked even in a closed lifeboat canopy without suffocating the occupants. Unlike kerosene, or solid fuel tablets that flare up dangerously, the gel maintained a constant burn rate. Sailors could warm their hands directly over the canister without risk of burns from flames. In the biting cold of the North Atlantic, this made the difference between life and death. It wasn't just for the sea. It found its way into survival kits and field gear. After the war, the lifeboat stove's design influenced countless civilian and military survival tools. From Arctic expeditions to Cold War survival kits, similar stoves appeared in metal tins labelled self-heating ration heaters or flameless solid fuel. The principle remained the same, a chemical fuel that burned hot, clean and discreet. Even NASA's early emergency survival kits included chemical heaters based on the same technology. Soldiers during the Korean and Vietnam Wars carried heat tabs made from similar gels to cook rations discreetly in the field. This legacy shows how wartime innovation quietly shaped modern survivalism. For survivalists or outdoor enthusiasts, the idea of flame-free heat remains invaluable. If you're in a tent, a snow cave, or a stealth camp where visible fire is risky or banned, understanding this concept can be life-saving. To recreate the principle safely today, you can use a homemade gel fuel by combining denatured alcohol with calcium acetate, 
available in lab or online stores. Mix about one teaspoon of calcium acetate per 100 milliliters of alcohol. Stir slowly until the liquid thickens into a gel. Store it in a heat-proof tin. When you ignite it with a spark or lighter, it produces steady heat for up to 20 minutes, enough to warm water, soup or tea. It gives off minimal light and almost no smoke, making it ideal for emergencies or low-profile camping. Always remember to test it outdoors first, use heat-proof containers and ensure good ventilation. While modern fuel tablets exist, none are as historically rich or as quietly effective as this forgotten stove design. What makes the lifeboat stove more than just an artifact is what it represents. Problem solving under pressure. It stands as a symbol of how simple chemistry and necessity can lead to elegant innovation. The people who designed it weren't just trying to make heat. They were designing hope. They understood that a small, safe, invisible source of warmth could mean the difference between despair and endurance. Today's survival community often focuses on the big gear, multi-tools, solar panels, tactical stoves, but the lifeboat stove reminds us that sometimes the smartest solutions are the quietest ones. It's a reminder that survival knowledge isn't just about what's new. It's about rediscovering what worked when everything else failed. Every time you strike a match or light a small camp stove, you're standing on the shoulders of inventors who worked in times of crisis. The lifeboat stove, though forgotten by most, deserves its place among those small but world-changing innovations. By studying it, we don't just honour history, we learn from it. In a world increasingly fragile to climate events, power outages or isolation, knowing how to generate clean, safe heat without open fire could be the kind of knowledge that once again saves lives. In closing, keep the fire of curiosity alive. If this glimpse into wartime ingenuity sparked something in you, if it made you see how human creativity burns brightest in the darkest places, then don't let the story stop here. Dive deeper. Experiment safely. Share what you learn. And most importantly, keep this piece of forgotten survival history alive by subscribing to In the Beginning. Share this video with fellow history enthusiasts and survivalists who value real knowledge. Because some of the best lessons for the future are hidden in the quiet inventions of the past, and it's up to us to keep them burning.